we'll move on to our next case. A 37-year-old woman is seen in clinic after a recent diagnosis of hepatitis C infection. She has a history of injection drug use 15 years ago. She feels well and takes no medications. Vitals and physical exam are normal. Lab studies show the following. Her hepatitis C antibody is positive. Her RNA PCR is also positive with 1.2 million copies. She has a positive hepatitis B surface antibody and her surface antigen and core antibody are both negative. What is the best next step in management? So let's go through some key features here. She has a known history of hepatitis C infection from her exposure to intravenous drug use. She has a positive hepatitis C antibody and a positive viral load, which indicates that she has an active infection. She also has an isolated positive hep B surface antibody. We'll talk about what that means. So let's talk now about hepatitis C. Hepatitis C begins with an acute infection. A majority of patients will then go on to develop chronic inflammation, and only a small proportion of patients will develop spontaneous cure. So this is in contrast to hepatitis B, where most patients develop spontaneous cure. Then after chronic inflammation, a small minority will then go on to develop fibrosis and eventually cirrhosis of the liver. After patients have developed advanced fibrosis or cirrhosis, they are then at risk for cancer of the liver or hepatocellular cancer. So hepatitis C is the most common bloodborne infections in the United States. You should remember to always screen individuals born between 1945 and 1965. And patients are usually asymptomatic carriers of this infection. So the treatment for hepatitis C has actually evolved quite a bit in the last 10 years. We now have new therapies that are over 95% effective in allowing treatment for all individuals with hepatitis C. The goal really is to stop disease progression, prevent cirrhosis, and prevent the end-stage complications that occur with cirrhosis. The type of direct antiviral agents that we use depends on the person's hepatitis C genotype. One example that you may hear about is this combination of sofosbuvir and ledibesvir. So now let's return to our case. Our 37-year-old woman with a known hepatitis C infection from her IV drug use, she has a positive antibody to hepatitis C and a positive viral load, which indicate an active infection. If we review now her positive hepatitis B surface antibody, because it's in isolation, indicates that she has had prior vaccine and immunity to hep B. So what is the best next step in management? We know that she has an active hepatitis C infection, so she should be treated for her hepatitis C. You would first start with checking her hepatitis C genotype, which will guide you in what drugs to use for her treatment. And as part of the screening, you should obtain an abdominal ultrasound or transient elastography to screen for fibrosis. Mm -hmm.